po sa inyong lahat, mga kamay-ari and welcome to DigiCoop CTM webinar. So sana po nakapag-download na po tayo ng DigiCoop mobile app from App Store or Play Store. Okay. So alam ko po lahat po kayo ay excited na. Kaya naman lahat po kayo, welcome to the 89 participants that we have this morning for our CTM webinar. So whether you're part of the board of directors or you're the CEO or part po kayo ng management or you're a member of your cooperative, maraming salamat po for making time and attending the CTM webinar. So sana po mag-enjoy po kayo at marami po kayong rest assured dahil marami po kayong matututunan from our webinar this morning. Okay, so since alam ko po lahat po sila ay excited na, Yes, so alam ko po lahat sila, excited na. Let us first proceed with the national anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang maghiling, kaya sa sinahanan, alam ng puso sa nitig mo. Oh, 
let us proceed with the cooperative pledge. The cooperative pledge. As a Filipino, I am and I believe in the cooperative. Alone I am weak, but with others I am strong. So I commit myself to work, to cooperate, for all to be prosperous. Harmony, industry, I will value. Cooperative affairs, I will attend. Responsibilities, I will assume. The cooperative philosophy, I will live. One vision, one belief, one feeling. In cooperativism, my life and pledge. So help me God. Alright, so since nasimula na po natin ang ating webinar with our national anthem and of course the cooperative pledge, ngayon naman po I would like to acknowledge all the cooperatives na nandito present ngayong umaga. So actually ngayon, we are already 101. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa Commonwealth TSDC. Thank you po mga ma'am sir for being here. This morning, syempre, nandiyan din ang USPDSCC. Nako, kahapon, nandiyan din sila for our webinar yesterday. At ngayon, nagbabalik. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Ronaline Atienza of AECMPC. We also have, of course, hindi magpapahuli from Badevco. Okay, so sa lahat po ng cooperative na nandito, hindi na po namin kayo iisa-isahin pa. Maraming salamat po for being here this morning. And kung meron po pa po kayong friends from other cooperatives na nais manood ng ating CTM webinar, pakisend lang po sa kanila ang ating Zoom link o di kaya ang ating meeting ID and password para syempre lahat po tayo walang ma-miss out sa ating offering this morning. Okay, so bago po yun, I would just like to discuss few house rules. Okay, so wag po natin kalimutan, first of all, pakimute po ang ating microphones para marinig po natin mabuti ang ating presentation, the videos, and the answers to your questions this morning. And don't forget to register in the registration link found in the chat box. So ang marketing team po namin, si Kath, ay pinapost po ang ating registration link. So maari lang po lamang i-click natin yon. And then of course, para makilala po namin kung saan kayong galing cooperative, kung maari po, please change your Zoom name to the name of your cooperative dash your Name. So pwede naman natin ilagay ang ating nickname kung mas comfortable po tayo doon. And then you may post your questions and your email address regarding the CTM. Any question po sa ating chat box. Okay. And then no drawing or sketching on the screen. And wag po tayong mag-alala because the materials of this webinar, the recorded presentation, recording po ng ating webinar, along with your certificate, it will be sent to your email. At syempre, ang, ang mga sagot po sa inyong tanong, send po namin yan sa inyong email. And in case I, I get disconnected, wag po kayo lahat mag-alala because we've got this webinar covered. So once again, I am Isa from the Digico of Marketing and I welcome one, the 110 participants that we have this morning. So ngayon naman po, punta na po tayo sa ating opening prayer to be led by Father Anton Pascual, the DTSC Chairman. Simulan po natin sa isang panalangin, iyoko po natin ang ating mga ulo at hingin ang grasya ng Diyos sa buhay. Sa ngala ng Ama, Anak at Espiritu Santo, Amen, na susulat sa pangalawang uh, sulat sa Timoteo, na ang Diyos ay hindi nagbigay ng Espiritu ng takot, kung hindi Espiritu ng kapangyarihan, pag-ibig at uh, tamang pagkapasya. Dakilang Ama, sa ngala ni Jesus, kami nagpapasalamat sa umagang ito at kami nabiyayaan ng buhay, napakahalaga ng buhay na hiram na daman-daman namin lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. At sa biyaya ng kinusang kooperatiba sa Pilipinas, sa mga primarya, sekundarya, na iyong uh, pinakatiwala sa amin. Gabayan mo kami ng iyong karunungan na nanggagaling sa langit. 
Patuloy kami magkaisa at magmalasakitan sa diwa, prinsipyo at pamantaya ng kooperativismo. Iligtas mo kami sa pandemang ito at matapos na ang pandemang ito sa taong ito na inaangki namin sa makapangyarihang ngalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus. At away sa umagang ito, kami ay lumago sa karunungan sa paggamit ng teknolohiya, lalo-lalo na ng digital technology upang lalong maging uh, epektibo, lalong maging uh, matagumpay at mabunga ang aming uh, pamumuno at pangangasiwa ng aming kooperatiba. Sabi nga nila, to thrive in crisis, not only to survive. Naniniwala po kami, wala aksidente sa mundo, may dahilan sa lahat ng nagaganap sa aming mundo. At sa panahon nito, hinahamon ng tadhana ang kilusang kooperatiba na lumago magparami, magpalakas ng hanay upang lalo tayong makatugon sa pangangailangan ng ating mga kamay-ari, makatugon sa mga mahirap at sa mga nasa ilayan ng lipunan. Naway, makita po natin sa umaging ito ang kahalagahan ng digital technology na siyang epekto ng uh, better normal at nawa sa tulong ng uh, grasya ng Panginoon, magamit natin ang teknolohiya na gawa ng tao sa inspirasyon ng Diyos upang lalong uh, mapalakas ang network, ang uh, solidarity, ang uh, pagkakaisa ng uh, mga kamay-ari sa kailisang kooperatiba patungo sa isang kabuhayan na ang nagpapakilos at nagpapatakpo ay kooperatiba. Naniniwala tayo ang kooperatiba, Panginoon, ay ayon sa iyong kalooban na nais mo kaming pagkaisahin at kami magtulungan at magmalasakitan bilang makakapatid sa isang Diyos. Naway maging tagumpay muli ang, tag ang umaga ito sa aming pag-aaral, sa aming learning, the power of technology in our cooperatives. Alright, maraming salamat po, Father Anton Pascual, for the opening prayer. And now, we would like to call on Mr. Darwin Pasco, the Chief Technology Officer of Traction, for his opening remarks. Good morning po, Sir Darwin. Uh, good morning po sa lahat ng uh, nandito ngayon, mga kamay-ari po ng ating kooperatiba. Um, thank you, Miss Isa, for the introduction. Again, uh, I'm Darwin Pasco. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of uh, Traction and DG Co-op. So, ako po yung ano, uh, nag-lead ng team na gumawa nitong, uh, nag-develop nitong ating uh, Uh, Coopnet Teller Machine o yung tawag po natin na CPM. So, explain ko lang po no sa maikling sa pananalita ano po yung objective po ng ating uh, CPM. No? Uh, nung kinoconceptualize po namin yung uh, CPM, basically, inisip namin uh, paano ba natin mapagsisilbihan yung sektor ng kooperatima. No? Kasi alam naman po natin Uh, uh, yung sektor na pinagsisilbihan natin si, uh, tayo yung sektor ng mga unbank ng mga underbank no mga underserved basically at doon nagta-thrive ang ating na uh, sektor ng kooperatiba no? so tingnan lang namin yung mga traditional na ATMs na yon no? ano yung kulang no basically ang capability lang naman ng, ng mga traditional na ATMs na yon is uh, mag-withdraw ng pera at mga ka-withdraw ka lang naman kung meron kang bank account at yung banko mo kinakailangan member pa ng banknet so iyon yung mga isa sa mga ano eh, challenges na sinosolve namin no paano mapagsisilbihan ng kooperatiba paano magkakaroon ng ATM basically yung ating mga kooperatiba no? na hindi nila kinakailangan magmember ng banknet no at uh, syempre kung hindi ka naman banko hindi ka magpwede maging member ng banknet no So yun, so pinag-isipan namin. So it's also a given na ang ating DG Co-op is powered by an e-money license no? ng Traction Pay. No? So basically, ginamit namin yun. So um, ang konsepto namin dito, uh, kinakailangan itong ATM nito is cost effective. No? So ibig sabihin, dapat competitively priced siya uh, as compared dun sa traditional ATM. No? Um, pangalawa, it has to serve, no? Kinakailangan mapagsilbihan nito yung needs ng market ng kooperatiba. Ano ba yung market ng kooperatiba, di ba? Ito nga yung mga market na hindi napagsisilbihan ng ng mga bangko, no? 
And siyempre, yung mga features ng CTM na ito is dapat relevant sa pangangailangan na mga miyembro ng kooperatiba. No? So, so, so from there, um, we designed, we developed, we designed and then developed this machine. No? Uh, na as we go on later sa webinar natin, is makikita ninyo, is mukha lang siyang ATM, pero it has more features. No? It has more features, actually relevant features para sa pangangailangan ng ating kooperatiba. At ang kagandahan pa po nito is yung development team is local, Filipino, kapwa natin kooperatiba. No? Hindi siya galing sa ibang bansa, hindi siya galing sa ibang bansa na kapag may features na kinakailangan develop is kinakailangan pa nating tawagin yung mga taga-ibang bansa. Yung development team po nito is 100% local, 100% kooperatiba. No? Yun po. So sana po, um, as we go on through sa webinar na to, is uh, makikita ninyo, ma-appreciate po natin lahat yung ano yung uh, design no saka yung relevance nitong ating CTM para sa ating lahat maraming salamat po Ayan, maraming salamat po Sir Darwin sa inyong opening remarks and alam ko po na kadamihan po sa ating mga kamay-ari ay talagang excited na kung ano nga ba, curious na curious nga ano nga ba itong CTM at ano nga bang difference nito from an ordinary ATM machine. Pero bago po yan, simulan po muna natin ano nga ba yung DigiCoop since meron po bang mga co-op dito na baka first timers nila first timer po sila at naririnig nila yung DigiCoop ano nga bang DigiCoop ano nga ba ang CTM so para po masagot natin ang tanong na yan maaari po lamang na manood po tayo ng short video clip na ito para malaman kung ano ang DigiCoop Welcome to DigiCoop your tech partner for a future-proofed cooperative di gaya ng ibang mobile banking or mobile wallet apps. Ang Digi Co-op ay specifically customized para sa cooperative use. Madaming oras at trabaho ang inabot para magawa at maiayos ang Digi Co-op platform. We've partnered with different institutions and organizations in order to build, change, and improve our system base sa cooperative suggestions and fine-tune to better suit their needs. At hindi lamang convenience for you and your members ang maaaring makuha sa Digi Co-op. Siguradong kikita rin ang inyong cooperative at members. Paano nga ba mag-download ng Digi Co-op app? Simply scan this QR code o buksan ng App Store or Play Store at itype ang Digi Co-op or type digicoop.ph sa inyong desktop browser at mag-login sa inyong Digi Co-op account. Kahit 100 or 50,000 man ang inyong members, madali lang itong i-onboard sa DigiCoa platform. Once na ma-upload na ang inyong members list sa DigiCoa, makakatanggap lahat ng members ng SMS text from DigiCoa. Siguraduhin na lahiti mong members ninyo ang inyong pinasok sa ating DigiCoa system. How can your members benefit from DigiCoa? Loan payment at co-op contribution. Gawin na at the comfort of your home. Mag-invite ng bagong members online. Walang load? Pasahan ng load ang iyong kaibigan. Sweldo na ba? Ipadala ang sweldo ng inyong co-op staff diretso sa kanilang TG Co-op e-wallets through the Send Money feature. Easily share expenses with your co-workers through the Send Money feature of the app for free. Sell your own or your co-op product. Dagdag kita uli sa pagtangkilik ng sariling app. More rebates when your members sell micro-insurance. Nakatulong ka na maging secure ang mahal sa buhay. Kumita ka pa! Kailangan ng extra cash? Mag-withdraw na from our co-op teller machine. Under co-op services naman, lahat ng iba pang servisyo ng mga kooperatiba right at your fingertips. Tulad na e-voting. Conduct your elections online. Malalaman agad-agad ang resulta, real-time. At mas makakamura pa ang inyong co-op, seminars at e-learning. Going online ang inyong seminars. Payment Gateway. Pwede na maging connected to more than 40,000 payment options at centers nationwide. Loan Application. 
Mabilis at automated na ang pag-apply ng loan ng members through the DG Co-op mobile app. Mag-apply na ng loan gamit ang mobile app dashboard kahit nasaan pa sila. Maging remittance center at kumita through the remittance fees. At huwag na ma-stress sa inyong transactions as it will be instantly accounted for when you avail of our DX Bank core banking system. And introducing our Anchor Unification Project. Become a one-stop co-op shop for your members. I-convert o integrate na ang branches ninyo and become Bayad Center. Pera Padala Center. Parcel Padala Center. At pwede na rin maging DG Co-op Business Center. Wow! Ang dami namang features ni DG Co-op. Kaya ka Co-op sa DG Co-op tayo. Dahil atin ito kamay-ari. Visit dgcoop.ph Follow us on Facebook at facebook.ph page or email us at info at dgcoop.ph Alright, so sa lahat po ng ating kamay-ari na hindi pa alam kung ano ang DG Co-op, we hope that through that short video clip ay nagkaroon po kayo ng idea sa services, sa dami ng services na ino-offer ng DG Co-op for, for our co-op sector. Okay, so kanina sa video kanina nakita natin ang CTM machine na, na kaya niya mag-cash out. Pero alam ko po, marami pa nagtatanong sa inyo, ano pa ba ang services offered ng isang CTM machine? So para malaman po natin, Please watch the short video clip. Introducing Co-opnet Seller Machine. The expanding services na inyong ina-offer at padaliin ang buhay na inyong customers using the Co-opnet Seller Machine. How to cash in? I-click ang login button. Mag-login gamit ang QR code. Kung wala kayong access sa inyong Co-opnet app, wag mag-alala. Pwede nang gamitin ang Co-opnet QR Card. I-scan ang QR Card to log in. May matatanggap kang text message with your Co-opnet login OTP verification code. I-click ang cash in button. I-insert ang pera. I-double check kung tama ang amount. Pagkatapos, i-click ang print receipt. May lalabas na resibo. Mag-scroll down para makita ang updated balance ng iyong Co-opnet account. How to cash out? I-click ang cash out button. Ilagay ang amount na gustong i-cash out. I-click ang enter button. Dito, makikita ang inyong cash-out details. I-click ang proceed button. May matatanggap ka na cash-out OTP code. Pag nalagay na ang OTP verification code, i-click ang cash-out button. Lalabas ang withdrawn funds. Bills payment. Buksan ang inyong Co-opnet app. Dahil dito natin gagawin ang ating bills payment transaction. I-click ang Pay Bills button. Para sa example na ito, magbabayad tayo ng tuition fee. I-click ang Schools. Piliin ang iyong eskwelahan. I-fill out ang mga kailangang detalye. Pagkatapos, i-click ang Proceed button. I-review ang detalye ng inyong transaksyon. Pagkatapos, i-click ang Save Transaction for CTM. Pumunta sa nearest Co-opnet Teller Machine. I-click ang Bills Payment. Basahin ng maigi ang instructions at pagkatapos, i-click ang Proceed to Pending Transactions. Hanapin ang nagawang transaksyon sa iyong Co-opnet app. I-click ang Transaksyon. I-insert ang pera. I-check kung tama ang amount. Pagkatapos, i-click ang Proceed button. May matatanggap kang OTP Verification Code. I-type ang OTP Code. Pagkatapos, I-click ang Confirm button. E-load. I-click ang E-load. Hanapin ang iyong mobile network provider. Piliin ang Promos and Bundles. I-type ang phone number. Pagkatapos, i-click ang Proceed button. I-insert ang pera. I-click ang Continue button. I-double check kung tama ang amount. I-click ang Proceed button. Basahin ng mabuti ang instructions. May 
matatanggap kang OTP Verification Code. I-type ang OTP Verification Code. Wallet Transfer I-click ang Transfer Money. Pwede tayong mag-transfer to a Co-op Net Wallet, to a Digi Co-op e-wallet, and to another bank. Para sa example na ito, piliin natin ang Co-op Net e-wallet. I-exert ang pera. I-click ang Proceed button. Dahil to another Co-op e-wallet ang ating papadalhan, ilagay ang registered Co-op Net phone number ng papadalhan. I-review ang transaction details. I-click ang Proceed button. Alright, so sana po through that short video clip, alam ko po lahat po kayo na excited because kaya ng isang CTM machine mag-cash in, mag-cash out, money transfer, e-load, bills, payment. Aba naman, napakaraming features sa loob nitong CTM machine. Talaga nga namang sulit, pero marami pa rin ang nagtatanong, Isa, ano nga bang difference ng isang CTM machine from an ordinary ATM machine? So para malaman po natin, please watch the short video clip. Enhance your cooperative's automatic banking service through the CTM. Multiply the ease of financial access everywhere and eliminate your concerns on manpower, maintenance, human errors, productivity, and management. CoopNet Teller Machine is more than your usual ATM because through the CTM, you can also deposit money, do bills payment and e-load transactions, do remittance transactions, transfer to another e-wallet, transfer to another bank, and many more. Alright, so yes, tama po ang inyong nakita na tama po ang CTM machine, kaya niyang mag-cash in, mag-cash out, bills payment, e-load, money transfer, and so on. Ayun. So napakaraming features and take note, lahat po ng services na ito available sa isang machine po lamang, sa CTM machine. You don't need to avail separate machines for cash in or cash out. Okay. So ngayon naman, pupunta naman po tayo sa ating questions. So nag-survey po kami last week from several cooperatives about the CTM machine. Alam po namin na naririnig na nila ito. And do they have questions about this? So this morning, gusto po namin i-discuss isa-isa ang inyong mga katanungan tungkol sa ating CTM machine. So simula na po natin with our first question. What can the CTM facility do for me? Okay, so question po yan, whether you're part, whether part of the management ng inyong co-op or you are a member of your cooperative. So unahin po muna natin, what can it do for the cooperative? Ayan, so the cooperative can bring added convenience definitely to their members and the community they reside in. In. Everything that the mobile app, the Digi Co-op mobile app can do, so the CTM machine can do. And then the cooperatives can earn a much bigger rebate compared to bank net fees. So tama po yan because the rebates that the CTM machine is giving definitely bigger than bank net. And of course, services can be extended to the public. So paano nga ba yun nangyayari? Because it is not limited to just our kamay-aris. Pwede po tayong mag-bank transfer sa ating non Digico of members. And of course, we can cut the lines from est other establishments and have members do their cash in or their payment and cash out or their withdrawal. So nandun na po yan sa iisang machine available ang ating pagka-cash in and cash out. Okay, ngayon naman, what can it do? How can the members of the cooperative benefit from the CTM machine. So for the members using your Digi Co-op wallet, you may withdraw or top up for your funds. And instead of lining up to go to the bank, even other banks' withdrawal will be made available through the QRPH. So yan ang hatid na technology po ng CTM machine made possible for us. And then you may pay bills, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, bills payment, money transfer, e-load to other banks and e-wallets. So talagang the services of DigiCoop hindi po tumitigil from our DigiCoop mobile app. It is now extended to our CTM 
machine. Okay, now for our next question. Who can avail of the CTM facility? So magandang tanong yan. Isa, is this limited to just the GCO of members? Ayan, so here I am, I'm clarifying that the CTM Pwede pong mag-avail ang members and non-members of DigiCoop sa ating CTM machine. Okay. How about for our third question? Is there a fee for using the services offered by the CTM facility? Okay. Yes. So, Depende po sa ating transaction na gagawin, whether we are paying bills or nagta-transfer po tayo to other banks or to a digital op user or nag i, -I load po tayo. So, depende po ito sa type of service and transaction. Okay, next question. How does the co-op make money with a CTM? So magandang tanong yan. Siyempre, that is concerning our cooperative. So katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, it is through the transaction fees shared. Okay. So through the rebates pa rin po, kikita po ang ating cooperative. Okay. How large are these CTM machines? So kasi laki ba siya ng isang ATM machine that I am familiar with. So this is actually the height of the CTM machine. Ayan, it is 174 centimeters. And then yung ating lapad po, it's ng CTM machine, 54 centimeters. And yung lalim po niya is 71 centimeters. Okay. And mamaya po, i-a-announce ko. Siyempre, may demo tong ating CTM machine. Yes, this coming November. Nako, makikita nyo po, matatry nyo ang mismong CTM machine. Mamaya po i-announce ko kung paano at saan. Okay. Now for our next question. So, do I need internet for the CTM machine? Okay, yes. So definitely, kailangan po natin ng internet connection for our CTM machine. Ayan, may pumasok ng question which will be addressed later kung magkano nga ba itong CTM machine. So what are the requirements to avail of a CTM machine? So katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kailangan po natin ng internet connection. Of course, we also need a secure location with CCTV po yan. Okay. So syempre, pag meron po kayong sinabi na location, of course, the CTM team po will check okay, kung okay po, um, secured po ang ating location for the CTM machine. Okay. Next question, can non-digi co-op users transact using the CTM? So I think this has been addressed earlier, pero uulitin ko lang po. Ito po ang ating sagot dyan. Yes, definitely non-digi co-op users can transact using the, digi, using the CTM machine. Okay, next question please. Can we transfer to other bank accounts using the CTM machine? Okay, so yes, definitely, pwede pong mag-transfer to other bank accounts using the CTM machine. Next question, please. Can, can DigiCoop users transfer to a non-DigiCoop user via CTM? Ayan, napakagandang tanong yan. Is this made possible through the CTM machine? So ang sagot po dyan, to other banks and to wallets, yes, definitely you can transfer from a DigiCoop user to a non-DigiCoop user. Okay, so I hope that is clarified. Next question. Can co-op members pay dues using the CTM machine? Yes. So ang kailangan lang po natin gawin, we should open the CTM machine and pindutin po natin yung pay bills doon. Nandun na po yung instructions. Napakadaling uh, instructions for the pay bills sa loob ng ating CTM machine so we can pay our dues. Okay. Next question. Do I need to have a downloaded DigiCoop mobile app for this? Ayan, napakagandang tanong. Siyempre, paano naman yung mga non-DigiCoop users? Wala kaming DigiCoop mobile app. Anong gagawin namin? So, ang sagot po dyan, of course, preferably, yes, sana po, meron po kayong DigiCoop mobile app. Bakit? 
for a more convenient way of transacting using the QR code and OTP generator found in the DigiCoop mobile app. Ngayon naman, naku, wala kaming DigiCoop mobile app. Anong gagawin namin? So, users na walang DigiCoop mobile app may avail of our DigiCoop Circle Card. Okay. So, alam ko ni next question dyan. Naku, magkano ba yung Digi Coop Circle Card na yan? Baka naman hindi yan ma-afford ng co-op namin. Naku, ito po. Yan! The Digi Coop Circle Card is just 50 pesos po per card. So, talagang affordable at kaya-kaya po yan ng ating mga kamay-ari. Okay. Next question, please. Ayan, so ngayon naman na pinag-uusapan na natin yung ating fees ng CTM. May maintenance fee ba ang isang CTM machine? So yes, definitely, there is a minimal maintenance fee of 4,500 pesos per month. Okay, next question. Ayan, naku naman, baka naman pag-avail namin ng CTM, Isa, baka naman may additional cost pa. Meron pa ba? So, ito po yung sagot natin dyan, mga kamay-ari. Wala na po tayong additional cost when we avail of the CTM machine except, of course, for the monthly maintenance fee na diniscuss ko po kanina. Okay, next question. Ayan, ang ating mahiwagang question. Kanina pa po tinatanong, I've read in the chat box. Isa, magkano ang isang CTM machine? Excited na ang aming co-op and members for the CTM. So the cost of one CTM machine is 19,500 US dollars. So if we convert it, so ngayon uh, 59 pesos, right? It's around, yun po ating dollar conversion, it's around 1.1 M. Nako, isa ang mahal ata. Nasulit ba namin? Parang masyado mahal yan. Nako, sinasabi ko po sa inyo, mura na po ito. Ide-discuss ko po in a while kung bakit siya sulit, kung bakit siya mura. Okay. So pumunta na tayo doon. Ayan. How cheaper is a CTM machine compared to an ATM machine? So magandang tanong po yan. Maganda na i-discuss natin ngayon. Ayan. So para lang po sa kaalaman ng ating mga kamay-ari, uh, hiwalay po usually ang machine, ang ATM machine for uh, withdrawal and for deposit. So yung regular withdrawal ATM, it costs around 1.4 to 1.6 million pesos. Na may separate deposit machine naman po, ang cost po nun ay around 1M. So kung tutuusin po natin, let's say ito pong conservative na po ang ating regular ATM machine which is 1.4M. And then i-add pa po natin yung cost ng ating deposit machine na hiwalay. We would, uh, magagastas po natin around 2.4M. But ito pong ating CTM machine, around 1M lang po siya, around 1.1M. So magkano ba ang natipid natin doon? Ang natipid natin doon, it's around 1 to 1.2 million pesos. Kasi yung both services ng ating regular withdrawal ATM machine and yung ating deposit na ATM machine, kinumbine na po lahat parehong serbisyo matatagpuan sa CTM. Okay, so yun nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina, ang laki po ng natipid natin with our CTM machine. So sa una, bakit ako nakakagulat siya, pero pag nalaman nyo na, ah, okay, pareho servisyo, na, ang daming servisyo available inside the CTM machine, makakapag-reach out pa kami to new members, hindi lang limited ito to digico of users, cash in, cash out, e-load, bills payment, money transfer, all these services are made available inside the CTM machine. Nako, at hindi lang yun. Ang gumawa pa nito ay kapwa natin kooperatiba at Filipino pa ang ating development team. So talagang sulit, worth it po ang ating CTM machine. Di po ba? Okay, now for the next question. How do backnet cardholders transact when it is cardless? Okay, magandang katanungan po yan. Okay, so we will use through the power of the QRPH through their bank's mobile banking app. So biruin nyo po yun, yung QRPH ng kanilang mobile banking app. Pwede yun gamitin sa ating CTM machine. So ang galing ng ating uh, technology provided by the CTM machine. Okay, next question. 
Ayan. Is it secure, syempre, to keep my money in a CTM? Ano nga ba ang sagot dyan? Okay. So, there are strict protocols before opening a CTM, which, of course, we will discuss separately doon po uh, sa ating mga mag-a-avail na kamay-ari. Okay. Next question. Can anybody else access my accounts through the CTM? So ngayon naman, we are going to the security questions of CTM. So of course, just like an ordinary ATM machine, wala pong makaka-access. So only the holder account with the credentials will be able to access. So syempre, uh, we are making sure that all of you, the accounts inside the CTM, syempre, yung user lang po, yung makaka-access the account. Uh, holder. Okay. Next question. How much can I withdraw from my CTM card per transaction? So this is a good question. Siyempre, we are concerned sa ating minimum and maximum uh, transaction fee. So actually, this is 20,000 po yung maximum uh, withdrawal fee per transaction sa ating CTM machine. Okay. Next question. Ayan, so is there a withdrawal fee from the CTM machine? Yes, meron po tayong withdrawal fee just like, di ba minsan meron mga transaction fees po tayo when we use an ATM? Ganun din po of course with our CTM machine. Okay, next question. Can I pay my bills through the CTM? Okay, so this has been discussed kanina, pero uulitin ko lang po. Yes, pwedeng-pwede po tayo magbayad ng ating mga bayarin sa loob ng C by using the CTM machine. Okay, next question. Is there a limit on the bill amount that I can settle? Baka naman mamaya masyadong maliit yung limit ng isang CTM machine for the bills payment. Paano kaya ito? Ang sagot po dyan, Wala. Okay. Wala pong limits for the bills payment. Okay. Next question. Can I trans transfer funds to a different bank? Okay. So kanina this has been addressed actually. Pero ulitin ko lang. Yes, you can transfer to a different bank using a CTM machine. Okay. Next question. When will the recipient receive the funds I transferred? So magandang katanungan po yan. Okay, so ito po yun. So for other banks, it depends on the amount. If 50,000 below po, it will, be, it will be received immediately. But for um, 50,000 and up, usually one to two banking days po. But if this is transferred to other DigiCoop or Coop Net Wallets, this will be received immediately. Okay. Now, for the other question, ayan, can I still change my CTM pin? Okay, so if you log in via the DigiCoop, via the mobile app, use the QR, wala pong kailangan na one-time password. But if through the card with a QR po, you will have to input the one-time password which you will receive via SMS. Okay, so I hope clear po yan. All right. So I hope po this morning, uh, nasagot po namin majority of the frequently asked questions by the by our kamay-aris. And sa mga hindi po nakakaalam dyan, actually ang dami na po, several cooperatives have already availed of the CTM machine. Kaya naman po, if you are interested to avail one of one CTM machine, maybe for your trial muna or for each of your branch, Lumapit na po kayo sa amin. Mamaya ibibigay ko po ang aming contact details for those who are interested or who would like to have a one-on-one -on -one presentation to their board of directors. Uh, maaari po namin kayong uh, ipakita ang benefits and the advantages of the CTM machine to your cooperative. Just let us know. So later po, ilalagay po namin dyan sa aming screen ang aming contact details. All right. Now, let's move on po. Meron pong isang kamay-ari na gustong magsalita about the about uh, kanilang Digico uh, journey. So, pakinggan po natin from Lite Geothermal Employees, MPC. 
Good day. My name is Romy De La Cruz. I am the Lady Geothermal Employees Multipurpose Cooperative Business Manager. We are very grateful in behalf of the management dahil nagkaroon ng Digico Brands dito sa Ormo. Nakakatulong kami sa community namin dahil uh, malapit na silang uh, malapit lang ang pagbabayad ng nila ng mga electric bills, uh, credit cards, uh, cash in and cash out, uh, at iba pang mga transactions. So, hindi na sila pupunta pa ng city at nakapag minus gastos pa sila sa fuel at time nila. Ako rin in my personal experience, hindi na rin ako pupunta ng my personal bank dahil uh, ang transaction ko for deposits and withdrawals dito pa na ginagawa sa office namin, dito sa co-op namin. Uh, it really uh, a great help for our co-op dahil katapag, uh, bigay na rin kami ng negosyo sa mga co-op members and also it's our additional business and income too. Uh, nagkaroon na rin kami ng isang uh, account officer dahil sa DGCO o nakapag kami ng isang mga additional uh, member uh, ng aming pamilya, ng aming co -op. So, to make it short, ang DGCO o ay napaka-convenient. Uh, ang DGCO o is uh, isang uh, magandang tools para, magandang tool para sa amin. So, convenient na hassle feedback. Alright, maraming salamat po Sir Romy De La Cruz of Leite Geothermal Employees MPC. Ayan, so ngayon naman, kanina sinabi ko na nasa November, meron po tayong demo of the CTM machine. At ito na nga po yun. This coming November 11th, it is a Friday sa Greenson Hotel in Makati. Uh, Digi Co-op Technology Service Cooperative along with Co-op Net Inc., is holding CTEC 22. So, cooperation, cooperation through technology our way forward. So, sa event po nito, meron po tayong live demo of our CTM machine. So, maganda po na mag-register na po tayo for us to avail the early bird rate. Ayan. So, sa early bird rate po natin, meron po tayong 50% discount and 30% uh, discount. Ayan. So, if you register until October 5, you will get 50% uh, discount. And if you register uh, October 6 until October 15, you would be able to avail the 30% discount sa ating ticket prices. So doon, meron po tayong live demo of the CTX, CTM machine. So doon, maaari nyong itry ang ating bills payment, e-load, cash in, cash out, and money transfer. And of course, if you have additional questions regarding CTM, ilagay lang po natin dyan. But due to uh, limited time, we would be able to answer this right after the webinar. And of course, during the CTEC 2022 event, we would be able to address also your questions face-to-face -face and real-time regarding the CTM machine. So ano pa nga bang aabangan namin dyan sa CTEC 22 na event? So of course, meron po tayong keynote speakers from Dragon Pay. We also have keynote speakers from Brancas. Nandiyan din ang ating inspirational talk from CDA and from DTI. And meron po tayong iba't ibang panel discussions about payments, cash management, open finance. We also have from re for regulatory risks, identity management, data protection, and cybersecurity. And tungkol sa naririnig natin, ano nga ba ang crypto? Ano nga ba ang NFT? Nakapopular yan ngayon. And blockchain. So sa lahat po yan, you will be educated, you will be informed through the CTEC 22 event. So napakarami po nating panelists and speakers. Abangan nyo po, please follow us on the CTEC 22 Facebook page or we are also available on Instagram, CTEC 22 rin po. Ayan, so we will be posting our lined up speakers 
sa aming Facebook page. Again, that is CTEC 22. And nakalagay na po ang ating registration link for the event saan sa ating chat box. So mag-register na po tayo. All right, so our webinar has come to an end. For the closing remarks, I would like to call on Mr. Gary Baldi Leonardo, Director of DTSC. Good morning, Sir Gary. Pagkala ng DigiCoop ay nais ko kayong pasalamatan sa inyong pagtugon sa aming paanyaya uh, upang dumalo sa uh, ating event ngayong araw. Uh, inaasahan namin na marami kayong napulot sa mga napag-usapan uh, kanina at hinihikayat ko kayo sa ngalan muli ng DigiCoop na sumali na uh, Muli ay magandang araw sa ating lahat at maraming salamat. Ayan, maraming salamat po, Doc Gary, sa inyong closing remarks. Ayan, so right now, we are already 156. Lahat po nang nandito. Maraming salamat po for making time to attend our CTM webinar. And sana po, marami po kayong natutunan tungkol sa DigiCoop and the CTM machine and its benefits for the cooperative sector. So of course, we would like to acknowledge all the participants. So kung maaari po, buksan po natin ng ating camera, let us flash the biggest smiles that we have and let us use our yan, sa akin, right hand to form letter D for DigiCoop of course and let us flash our biggest smiles on the screen. Ayan. So nakita ko ang tanong ni Ma'am Angel, may request for a copy of the video ng CTM and the uh, webinar. Don't worry Ma'am Angel, it will be sent to your email after right after the webinar. Okay, so let us flash our biggest smiles mga kamay-ari. Okay. And make sure naka-form po ang letter D. Ayan. Nakakatuwa naman. Napakarami nating mga kamay-ari nandito ngayong umaga. Ayun. Maraming salamat po. Muli maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And of course, let us move on to the next part of our webinar. Okay, so alam ko po, several of you are interested to be a part of the DigiCoop family and interested then, of course, to avail of our CTM machine. So maaari nyo na po i-contact ang ating DigiCoop team if your cooperative is part uh, located in Luzon or in Visayas and Mindanao. You may email our sales team. So nakalagay po sa ating screen ang kanilang email address. So pwede po natin picture rin ito mga kamay-ari para wag po natin makalimutan. Okay, so kung interested po sila, kung meron silang questions, gusto ng mas malalim na presentation about the CTM machine o di kaya ang DigiCoop, please feel free to email our team. Okay, and now, ayan. Nakuha na namin ang email ng ACCE Credit Cooperative. Okay, now for the social media pages of DigiCoop. Siyempre, dyan po namin nilalagay ang aming announcements regarding CTEC, the upcoming event, exciting event on November 11 and our lined up webinars and services. So please don't forget to sign up at digicoop.ph. So I hope kanina nakapag-download na po tayo ng DigiCoop mobile app which is made available in Play Store or App Store. Okay. And the next step after signing up, what is the next step in store for your members and cooperative? Please follow and like us on digicoop.ph in Facebook. Okay. So, dyan po, nandyan po ang aming announcements. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Digicoop. Ayan, so nakalagay po dyan ang video recording ng ating webinar. Ilalagay po namin yan mamaya doon. Pati ang CTM videos, DigiCoop videos, demo videos of the features, etc. Okay, so and kanina kung hindi nyo na-take note ang email address ng aming sales stream, ito po napakadali. Please email us at marketing at digicoop.com. 
PH. Ayan, kaya-kaya to tandaan kahit nakapikit. Marketing at digicoop.ph. Alright. Okay, so ayan, maraming salamat po muli to the 154 participants here this morning. Maraming salamat po for making time and attending our webinar. We hope that you were educated about the CTM machine. How can it benefit your members, your cooperative, our cooperative sector, and even reach out to new breed of members? Okay, so ito po muli si Isa from the DigiCoop Marketing Team signing off. And I hope to see all of you in person sa ating November 11 event, the CTEC. 22 na may live demonstration of the CTM machine. All right. How exciting. So good morning po sa lahat ng kamay-ari and maraming salamat po. I'll see you on November 11. Salamat po. Ayan, sa mga naglagay po na kanilang email address, we will be sending the webinar materials. Okay.